A new twist in the migrant crisis in Chicago. The city says it's been 10 months since the last bus arrived from Texas and now some big changes. Political reporter Chris Ty joins us. Chris, today Mayor Brandon Johnson revealed new details on his plan to overhaul the migrant shelter system. That's right, Joe and Erica. At its peak, nearly 50,000 came to Chicago. 15 buses of migrants each day. As crossings at the border have plummeted over the last several months, Chicago's numbers have followed. By year's end, though, shelters earmarked for migrants around here will cease to exist. Where are you guys going from? Venezuela. Venezuela. We were with them as they arrived in 2022, as they made homes on the floors of police stations and airport arrival areas. In the months that followed, shelters popped up. At one point, 15,000 beds were occupied in Chicago alone. Two years later now, Chicago is now winding it down. Today we announced steps to demobilize the, the new arrivals operation by the end of 2024 and transition to the One System Initiative 2025. The One System Initiative draws down the number of beds, removes shelter stay limits, as well as guaranteed space for migrants. This will help to ensure that we have a single and equitable shelter system for anyone experiencing homelessness. It will also eliminate shelter stay limits and over time will provide more options for unhoused residents and families with children. Implementation begins this week with completion by year's end. It's a cost savings for a city and mayor dealing with a $982 million budget shortfall and brings to a close, for now at least, a contentious back and forth with a Texas governor using Chicago's sanctuary city status to make a political point. And on the politics of it, today, Mayor Johnson said this. Particularly the Republican Party that's being led by a freaking lunatic who told them not to support substantive, comprehensive immigration reform because he wants to prove a political point. And he has worked to pit poor brown people against poor black people. Shame on him. You talk about a joker. It's Donald Trump. Back to the changes now. If you are in the system, when the changeover formally takes effect January 1st, you will be allowed to stay in. The changeover will not kick anyone out of the system. Starting tomorrow, though, only migrants who've been in the U.S. for 30 days or less will be eligible for placement in one of the 13 migrant shelters across the city. Joan Erica. All right, Chris, thank you.